transferring data. Good morning guys, so this morning Dad and I got the irrigator going down on Dan's and surprisingly no plug nozzles and not a pain in the rear like it normally is to start that irrigator so I don't know if that's a good sign or what but that was pretty awesome this morning that that one didn't have any issues this morning. So we got the tender moved over to the river. Before we moved the tender over, I ran out last night on this field of Mary Lou's here and I've got one round to do, so I'll need about 100 gallons to finish this field up. We ran about 200 gallon in the applicator. That way I've got about a 100 gallon buffer there. And I'll finish this up, move over to the river. Uh, we could not get the end fix today, but we are getting the end fix tomorrow. Dad needed some residuals, some more Everprex, and they don't have that on hand, so that's coming tomorrow also with the end fix XLR. So, but what we can get today is the hydrodium for over there at the river. We're not going to run the micronutrient trial over there at the river because uh, we're going to run the end fix XLR with it, just like what we've been doing on all the other fields. So when I get over to the river, I'm going to do a complete fill up of hydrohume and do the hydrohume check strip first. That way that is done. And uh, then I will go get more 28 and thiosol and then run a load of no stabilizer. Do a round or two next to the hydrohume. And then I'll go over to that 25 acre field that we call the uh, along the lane field. Just a couple replant spots here on the ends. That it should mix it all up. So I'll pour all this in before we start doing anything. Two hundred and sixty gallon. of this farm 
and then 25 acres without any uh, stabilizer at all. So just 28 in thiosol, which technically thiosol is a little bit of a stabilizer to begin with, but we want an actual uh, stabilizer such as Enfix, Agritain, or say this Hydrogeal. So it ended up being 25.74 acres for the hydrogen check. I'm going to go to Brems, get 28 in thiosol, get all the thiosol that I need for over here. That way tomorrow is just going to be a 28 load uh, because we got to weigh in and weigh out for that. Uh, it's not metered like it is over at Co Alliance where we don't have to weigh. What I'll do is for the no stabilizer, I'll do all these end rows because these end rows amount to like almost eight acres. And that'll flush that hydrohume out pretty good. Then I'll do my two round check here. And then I'll hop over uh, over that 25 acre field and uh, run out what I can that's in, left in the tank. Plant corn, no problem for the Y drops. Cruising along here at five mile an hour and uh, doing a pretty nice job dribbling right on either side of the row. Doing a really nice job. Well, that's it, guys. So I just finished the no stabilizer load and I'm not going to be able to run anymore until we get the N fix tomorrow because the N fix XLR will go on the rest of this. We'll have an NFIX XLR check, and we will have a micro uh, trial out here with the NFIX XLR because we've been running the NFIX XLR with all the micro trials, so that will get put with the micros. So until tomorrow, guys, so I've got about just under 100 acres to run. Side dress 2020 round one will be done tomorrow. We've got round two yet, which will be a little bit of beans and a little bit of second shot for some corn to see if uh, second shot on, on some corn actually pays for itself. So uh, a couple more checks there. So until tomorrow, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. Links for those are down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.